Hello everyone, now I will show you how to use Botchief. If it is your first time to use it, click DLL register button first. Then click the test if DLL register successfully button. If it shows failed, please use following steps to register the DLL file manually. Now let me show you how to create a task. If you want to use system template, select the system template you want to use first. Then click add task. If you want to use a custom template, select user node first, and then click add user task category. Input the category name and click OK. Select category node you added just now, click add task. Input the name of the task. Import the template you want to use. Set the task running parameters, then click next. Here we need set the values of initialization variables. When the variable optional is yes, it is not necessary to set, program can use the default values. If optional is no, you must set it. Click the set button to set values. Select the variable, input the values for it and click add. Here is to set if delete the value after use. Here to set if stop the task after values are used up. Click save after finish set. After set all variables, click next. Save settings. Here you can select to save all return results, or save selected return results. Select where to save the results. Click next. Here is about proxy settings. You can select not use proxy, use public proxy, or set an alone proxy list only for this task. Set how to use the proxy. After set, click finish. Now we have created a task. Before run the task, you can do some settings by click settings button in the toolbar.
public proxy settings if you set the task to use public proxy, it will use the proxies here. CAPTCHA settings You can choose to manually enter the CAPTCHA code or the auto CAPTCHA resolving solution. Here is to set the threads amount to run the task. After set, click OK. Let's run task now. There are two ways to run the task. The first way is, check the task you need to run, and then click start. Second way is, right click, and then click run in the menu. In the pop-up form, you can select how to run the task. Set interval time for task running. After select, click OK to start the task. The task has finished running. That is all. Thank you.